Welcome to the installation video for the 5 PSP Chrome Blind Corner Organizer with Soft Close. Before we begin, you'll want to gather the following tools. A tape measure, pencil, a number two Phillips head screwdriver, and a power drill with a number two Phillips head bit and a 1 16th inch bit. In your box, you should find the following parts. A base, a frame, baskets, two feet, guide channel, and hardware packet. Many products install with reference to the front and side wall of the cabinet. Cabinet construction methods vary and based on your particular cabinet type, that is frameless or face frame, the dimensions you reference for installation will vary. Frameless or full access cabinets provide an easy point of reference to the front edge and side wall of the cabinet as seen here. Face frame cabinets have a space or gap behind the face frame between the cabinet opening and the side wall. When measuring the distance from the side wall, you will need to add this gap measurement in in order for your product to install and function properly. The majority of cabinet doors overlay the face frame. However, sometimes face frame cabinets may feature doors that are inset, meaning they come to a closed position inside the face frame. In this case, you need to account for this by moving your product deeper into the cabinet the thickness of the face frame, typically 3 fourths inch. We will be installing our 5 PSP for an 18 inch left-handed opening. We must first take into account our 3 quarter inch face frame dimension. We want to add 1 fourth of an inch to that measurement. We now know to set the frame one inch back from the side wall. Verify your measurements along the length of the frame to ensure even placement. From that one inch mark, measure another 13 and a half inches toward the center of the cabinet. This measurement will be 12 inches if your 5 PSP is for a 15 inch cabinet opening. We also want our frame to be set back seven and a quarter inches from the outside edge of the face frame cabinet to the mounting hole. Once your frame is properly positioned, pre-drill your hole locations. You can now secure to the cabinet floor using your number eight half inch wood screws. Put two flathead screws in the holes at the front of the frame. Do not fully tighten. Place the guide channel on top of the frame and tighten with a screwdriver. If you have a left-handed door opening such as ours, unscrew the left wheel and place in the upper position. For a right-handed door opening, unscrew the right wheel and place in the upper position. Use the corresponding arrows as a guide and align and attach the two feet to the bottom of the base. Align the feet of the base over the six holes of the frame and secure with screws. We are now ready to hang the baskets on the hooks. It is recommended that you hang them on the middle wire. Attach the handles to both sides of the upper base. Your installation is now complete. Enjoy your product for years to come.